Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today as we're talking about WWE's Royal Rumble 2020 coming up right around the corner. Uh, this is a big event for WWE. It is like their uh, kickoff to WrestleMania, um, where WWE seems to flip the switch and sort of gets booking um, really good for the upcoming next month. Uh, and I'm sitting here, and I'm really just sort of thinking about surprises uh, that could happen in the Royal Rumble. It's one of the the best things uh, that WWE is able to offer is that they're able to make a card where they tell you um, that 30 contestants are going to be getting into the Rumble. Um, they don't really tell you who the 30 are. You know that a lot of them are going to come from Raw. A lot of them are going to come from SmackDown. You're going to have some returning legends um, that you haven't seen on WWE television in a while that are going to get a pretty good pop. You're going to have some people uh, not really making a debut um, onto the main roster, but you know, Getting a little peek of the main roster um, coming up uh, from NXT. Uh, one of the big names that I think that it's going to be coming up uh, at the Royal Rumble that seems like it, it makes a lot of sense uh, would be Goldberg. Um, Goldberg coming into the Rumble, you know, he is the guy that they reached out and made sure was not able to go work for AEW. Um, he came in, he worked SummerSlam where he had a match against Dolph Ziggler, which kind of seemed like he was out of the middle of nowhere. Um, if you you know read reports uh, from like Dave Meltzer on The Observer, Dave was saying that this match was going to happen. There was a lot of people who basically, I think, were watching WWE TV like saying, this makes no freaking sense. If, if you watch TV, <laughs> you know, um, Dolph Ziggler is pretty much involved uh, in a uh, feud against The Miz. And they used that, uh, I think, basically all the way up until the Monday uh, before SummerSlam. And then on a Raw TV, The Miz basically just came out and said, Hey, uh, just so you know, you're having a match at SummerSlam, but it's not against me. And um, that's when Goldberg came out and uh, basically made the challenge where he was going to have the match uh, at SummerSlam. And basically said, you're next. Um, I'm not a guy that watches WWE continuously anymore, so I don't know if maybe Ziggler made one comment then basically got the whole thing started. But to me, as somebody who watches sporadically, felt like this was just out of the middle of nowhere. Um, once Goldberg gets into the ring, you can sort of just play off the fact that, you know, he won the championship just a few years ago, uh, was in one of the main events against Brock Lesnar um, at... Um, WrestleMania. He was also inducted to the Hall of Fame the next year. Um, and uh, maybe he just wants a chance to, you know, to prove that he deserves to be on top. He deserves uh, to get that pop when he comes out because Toronto sure the hell went crazy for him. Uh, once you get him in there, you can have him, you know, have his little face off with The Undertaker. We all know that he wants a little bit of a, a redo uh, because that match that they had at Crown Jewel was not good. Uh, they basically made a whole documentary on the WWE Network about how bad that match was, and that kind of led to him re-signing with WWE to come back and have the match against Dolph Ziggler to prove that he could still do it. And the fact that he you know, got back on that horse so fast um, proves that I think he really does care what people think about what goes on in wrestling. One of the things that was done in that uh, episode of WWE 24 uh, was the fact that it showed that he has kind of a behind-the-scenes rift uh, with Matt Riddle of NXT. Uh, Matt Riddle, if, if he's involved uh, with uh, the uh, the Royal Rumble this year, you could sort of play off on that. With you, I, I, I think it would be kind of weird if Riddle was the guy who got the better of Goldberg in the actual Royal Rumble. But maybe you see these guys wrestle for a minute or two to show that Riddle is in the same place as Goldberg, but maybe you let Goldberg get the better of Riddle uh, in the actual Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble match where he eliminates them, and maybe that leads to a match somewhere down the road um, for these guys, but uh, I think that Goldberg is somebody you can think about uh, being in the Rumble, definitely deserves to be coming out there getting a pop. I don't think he's in the conversation of actually winning the Rumble, but a lot of these surprises, you know that they're going to be in there. Maybe they come down to being in the Final Four. But I don't think any of the surprises you think has a shot to actually win it.